Back here at home, the Texas Senate could vote on the bathroom bill as early as tomorrow, but opponents are stepping up their campaign to stop it with radio ads and the support of police. Jason Whiteley reports. There's a new voice in opposition to the bathroom bill. It's law enforcement. Tuesday morning at 11, Dallas police, along with chiefs from Houston, Austin, San Antonio, Corpus Christi ISD, and both the Harris County and El Paso County Sheriff's offices, all meeting on the steps of the Capitol, saying the bathroom bill will not keep people safer. These bathroom bills won't make us safer, but if they pass, the NFL could reject Dallas's bid to host the draft. The Texas Association of Business launched these radio ads Monday. The Dallas Cowboys not taking a public position, but the NFL is against it. Governor Greg Abbott and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick both back a bathroom bill requiring people to use the public toilet of their biological sex. Opponents say it discriminates against transgender people and there's no way to enforce it. Denton County's Chamber of Commerce among those opponents as well, sending this letter to lawmakers, saying $176 million in tourism to that city is on the line. And the Association of American Law Schools has announced it will move its convention from Austin to Chicago next year because of the bathroom bill, a controversial measure pitting the GOP-controlled legislature against itself, social conservatives versus traditional Republicans. Right now, this is likely to pass the Senate right along party lines, so opponents are really hinging their hopes on the House because Speaker Joe Strauss says this should not be a priority for Texas, whether he actually brings this bill to the House floor for a vote before the special session ends in three weeks. That's something everyone will be watching. Reporting live, Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News.